Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another episode of Stitches Viz Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. Today, I'm going to share with you how to make this colorful and easy handmade beaded butterfly bag. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. To begin, you cut your fish line. You make sure it's long enough. And we are using 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So you make sure you have the ends. Then you pick four beads. You can fix three on any side of the fish line, being it to the left or the right side. And then you cross with the last one, which is the fourth bead. And then we have our first ring then you go on and pick three beads fix one on the left side fix one on the right fish line then you cross with the third one you make sure your fish line is equal has equal length and then we have our second ring so you go on by picking three beads again, fix one on the left, fix one on the right fish line as you can see. Then you cross with the third bead. Then we have our third ring. So this is how you should weave one. So we are going to weave about nine rings. So we have it now. And then when you get to the ninth bead, we need to thin. So you pick two beads, fix two on the left fish line as you can see, then you cross with the last one. So you pick three beads, fix two on the left fish line, then you cross with the third bead. So we'll be able to turn and weave to the other end. So as you can see, the fish line has turned for us to weave to the other end. And we have nine beads. So we are weaving to the other side so to turn complete you pick three beads again fix two on the left fish line and then you cross with the last bead which is the third bead so it turns complete for us to weave then you go through the next bead pick two beads fix one on the left fish line then you cross with the last one Then you go through the next bead here. So after you pick two beads, fix both beads on the left fish line. Then using the left fish line, you cross or you go through this bead here, the bead I'm going through. The bead you have the right fish line in. So you go through that bead as you can see. Then you pass the fish line, both fish line through to this bead here. I mean to the second bead. okay so we now have both fish lines through the second bead here then you go on and pick three beads again fix two on the left fish line then this time you cross with the third one so we've started another step but on the same line so you go through the next bead pick two beads again fix one on the left fish line then you cross with the last one 
so you go through the next bead do same fix two beads on the left fish line then you cross with the last one then you go through the next one then you pick two beads fix both beads on the left fish line then this time again using the left fish line you go through this bead the one the right fish line is going through as we did previous so we have it now then then you pass both fish line through to this bead here And then we have it we have both fish line in so we are going to weave to the down part so you pick three beads again fix two on the left fish line then you cross with the last one using the right fish line then you go through the next bead fix two beads on the left then you cross with the last bead with the same method we started with but don't worry you can fix the beads on the right fish line that is if you are comfortable with it but i'm comfortable fixing the beads on the left fish line so you can fix it on the right fish line if you are okay with it and then you cross to turn the fish line and you're going to move to the other end you go on and pick three beads again fix two on the left fish line then you cross with the third one using the right fish line so we have a turn complete then you go through the next bead and then fix two beads on the left fish line then you cross with the last bead so you weave to the last but one bead here you weave to the last but one bead So we are on the last but one bead but as you can see our fish line is finished or is short so we need to pass them through and then fix a new one so with the new one you go through the last but one bead again and then you fix two beads on the left fish line then you cross with the last bead so you pick three beads and then you weave down to the last bead with the same method so anytime you get to the last bead you have to turn or anytime you get to the last but one bead you have to turn so you can weave to the other end so we are going to so when you get to the last but one bead this time you have to pass both fish line through to the last but one bead on the end again so we have it there and then you still pick three beads fix two on the left fish line then you cross with the third one then you weave downwards to the last end So now we are done with the top side and are about to weave the down part to make the half side of the butterfly complete. So you now pick three beads, fix one on each fish line, so you fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line, then you cross with the third one. You still pick three beads, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line the same method as we started with then you cross with the third one and then you move on and weave about five steps or five rings so when you get to the fifth side you pick three beads this time you fix two on the right fish line and then you cross with the last one 
so if you fix on the right fish line then you cut with the left bead then you still pick three beads fix two on the right fish line then you cross with the left fish line using the right fish line then you pick three beads again fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line then you cross with the third bead so you are going to pass the fish line both fish line through to the last bead here So we have both fish line on both beads. Then you pick two beads, fix one on the left fish line, then you cross with the last bead. So you weave with the same method. So you get to the end. So when you get to the end, you go through the next two beads here then you cross using one bead then you go through the next bead again and then you pick two beads fix one on the left fish line and then you cross and then you weave to the end or to the other side So our fish line is finished again and we have to pass it through. So after with the new fish line, you go through the next two beads here. Please watch carefully with the beads I'm going through. Then you weave one more step. So after you pick three beads, fix two on the right fish line. Then you cross with the last one using the left fish line and cross with the left fish line so we can turn to weave to the other end so you weave on till you get to the other end and turn again So this time when you get to the last end, we pass both fish line through to the last but one bead here. And then you pick three beads, fix two on the right fish line, then you cross with the left fish line to turn again for us to weave to the last but one bead. So this time I weave into the last but one bead again. And then you turn our fish line is short so we are passing it through to fix a new one so with the new fish line you go to the last but one bead so note this time we are only weaving to the last but one bead and then you weave downwards to the last but one bead again and then you pass the excess fish line through to make your work firm So we have it done and then we are done with the half side of the butterfly so this is one side and this is the other side of which I did off camera and we are about to join it to get the complete side of the butterfly so with the new fish line you go through this bead the last bead here so we are using this round bead here and then I have it based on sizes big, bigger, biggest, small, smaller, smallest and then we are starting with the smallest one with the sugar bead you fix one then you go through this bead on the other side of the butterfly 
then you cut with the next size of bead which is a little bigger than the um, sugar bead then with both fish line you go through the next bead on both sides then you cross with one round bead again so it's the same size as the first one we used then you go through and then you cross with the next round bead so you go through again and then you move to the next size and then weave that one also three times then you move to the last size which is the bigger size so we are going to fix them till we get to the end or to the top side of the butterfly then you cross with the last bead so we are done and then to make it firm we are going to pass both fish line through make sure you pass it through to the other end so we have it and as you can see it's well fixed in the middle so nice and we are going to weave around it so you can fold it to be a nice butterfly as you want or as you were expecting but since we want it to be a bag we have to weave around it so with a new fish line we go through this bead here and then you pick three beads you pick three beads fix two on the left fish line then you cross with the last bead or the third bead Then you go through the next bead, fix two beads on the left fish line again, then you cross with the last one. So with the same method as we started with, this is what we are going to do throughout. So we are done weaving the side or the body of the bag. So we need to do something here. This we are not going to weave around it. We need to cross it to get a straight side so you pick three beads fix one bead on each fish line as you can see then you cross with the third one so you fix one bead on each fish line then you cross with the third one so this is how you have it then you go through the next bead then you weave normal so let me see we are just blocking the curve we made on each side then you weave on to the other end So when you get to the last end, you go through the next bead or the last bead, then you fix one bead on the right fish line, then you cross using the left fish line. So we'll be able to turn again to weave one more time. So we get two steps. So with the same method, you fix three beads on the left fish line then you cross using the right fish line to turn complete so you can weave on to the other end So when you are done with the second step, this becomes one side of the butterfly. So this is one side of it and this is 
the other side of it of which I did off camera so we are now coming to join it together to form the complete bag so I have more fish line and it's long enough so I'm going to use it so you pick two beads fix one on the left fish line then you go through the next bead on the other side of the butterfly and then you cross with the last bead or you cross with one bead then with both fish line you go through the next bead on each side after you cross with one bead so with this method anytime you go through the next bead with both fish line on each sides you cross with one bead so that is all we are doing to join the bag to make it complete So we are weaving with the same method throughout till you complete the full bag. So we are done now and as you can see it's firm and it can stand on its own. Now we are about to make the antenna for the butterfly. So with the new fish line you pick 15 small beads. So I'm using the small round beads. I think that will fit well so it's 15 you fix it and then you leave one out which is the yellow bead I'm leaving the one out and I'm going through all the 14 beads with the other side of the fish line so let me see I'm using the right fish line to go through all the 14 beads as you can see and after you go through all the 14 beads, you should pull the fish line so it will be firm to get something like this. With both fish line, you go through this bead here. Please watch carefully the bead I'm going through. You go through that bead. And then you make sure it's well fixed the way you want it. And then You pass the fish line through to make it firm. So there we have one side of the antenna. I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side. And then we have both nicely fixed and firm. So as you can see, it's not falling. They are all standing. So you can make a cover for the bag or you leave it that way. And with this fish line, I'm going to pass it through. So I made this rings here that we are going to fix the handle on. So I already weaved the handle and I'm just going to fix it on both sides. So after you are done, here is our bag, our butterfly shaped beaded bag. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more and more of my tutorials, make sure you share and comment as well. Please follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. Thank you. See you in my next video. Have a nice day and bye.